your NBC 26 Storm Tracker forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Still. It looks like it's going to be what I like to call a half and half weekend, where half the weekend is very nice and half of it is, well, very, not very nice. Let's take a look at our forecast headlines for the upcoming weekend. A dry day out there on Saturday. We're going to have rain and probably a few thunderstorms on Sunday. And yes, some of the rain is going to be on the heavy side. And that's actually some very good news because we have a rainfall deficit of more than seven inches on the year. For the rest of your Friday night, we're going to have clear skies and the cold spots are going to be very cold. We'll drop down to 29 degrees in Augusta, not so far away in Evans, much warmer at 37 for a wake up temperature, mid to upper 30s down to the south. We'll call it 35 for Sylvania tomorrow morning, 31 in Barnwell, 32 in Lincoln. And any of those temperatures are cold enough. We could see some frost early in the day tomorrow. No frost by the afternoon, but we'll have a few clouds up in the sky. 59 for the high temperature tomorrow in Aiken, 60 for the Augusta area, but the average high is 68. So it's mighty early in the fall season to be this cool, but overall a pleasant day there in Louisville. Your high 62 we will make it up to about 64 down in Swainsboro. Right now on our Storm Tracker 26 live tower cam tonight, we're talking about mainly clear skies out there on Wrightsboro Road, Bobby Jones Expressway area. 51 degrees the temperature we're showing here. East winds at eight miles an hour, but take a look at our uh, temperature map around the CSRA. And this is what I'm talking about. Imagine being me trying to forecast one number for a low temperature when you have 51 degrees in Evans and 37 degrees in Augusta. And uh, so we do the best we can, but uh, those cool spots are going to be mighty cold out there again tonight. Now here's a look at what we're tracking as we head through the weekend. As far as rain is concerned, this storm system here may not look like a whole lot. But there is some heavier rain beginning to develop south of Texas. Nothing in the way of severe weather, but this is beginning to head to the east. As it does, it's going to tap into moisture off the Gulf of Mexico, and that's going to cause the rain to increase and eventually some thunderstorms to form as a cold front moves out of the Plain States over the weekend. Here it is on your forecast tracker for the rest of your Friday night. We are looking good. This is noon tomorrow. Nice but cool out there on Saturday. Sunshine early in the day, but you'll notice those clouds coming in from the south. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow night, partly cloudy skies. And then late, late tomorrow night, we become mostly cloudy, maybe even a few showers after midnight. And then Sunday, the heavy rain starts coming on into the area. We may actually have uh, two separate events as far as thunderstorms. One may happen around midday on Sunday. And then what you're looking at here is actually late Sunday night as a squall line develops and moves through. And a few of the thunderstorms could be on the strong to severe side. Of course, we'll keep a close eye on that. Here's the severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. This area here is what they call marginal severe risk. It is the least of the uh, categories they offer, but farther down to the south across the southern part of the area, you are actually in the slight category for that severe weather, uh, mostly Sunday afternoon and then overnight Sunday and into early Monday morning. Here comes your forecast uh, for the next seven days or so. 70% chance of rain and thunderstorms on Sunday. We'll hold on to a small chance of rain Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but mostly dry weather. And Paige, take a look at that 79 degrees. Now, in the spirit of you not liking 80s, I, <laughs> I kept it at 79 for now, but it's going to be a very warm day on Monday after a stormy day on Sunday. Don't try, don't try to knock the 80s. Just, you know, in November, we got to be in the, the turkey temperatures. It is Thanksgiving week. Yes. That's right. How are you? Thanks, Chris. Uh -huh.